What's up, guys? It's your Bull Wings of Redemption. No, I haven't had a lot of videos today. So, I'm going to show you an old magic trick. I've seen this a while back. A guy making a Sharpie disappear in his hand. You know, the old billiard ball trick. I'm going to try to teach you how to do this with a pen. But first off, you're going to need a pen. There's a pen. Hey, look at that. I mean, you can do this many ways. The, the idea is you got to misdirect it first. I mean, you could go, you know, do it like this. Show them this hand. See, so you misdirect it like this. Or you can just go ahead and bring it back. Well, how do you do that? You know, person that would actually pay attention, I actually left one of the takes in that actually showed how I did it or I gave it away. I mean, I don't I don't have like gears of practice on it. Um, but it's just something I used to do when I deliver pizza. It would actually help me get better tips. And the key to it, I'm going to show you. The key to it is tape. What you do is you take a pen and you tape it to the back of your thumb. You want to tape it like this. Let's go ahead and try to get a, a good angle. You can use two or three layers of tape, but the idea is just to get it. So it sits like that. So when you open your hand, like you see a little black tape there. I'm not using the correct tape. That's one reason that the trick didn't go off on my hinge. Let's see if we can just go and fix it real quick. Boom. When you open your hand up like that, it's gone. See? Yeah, that's a picture behind there, so you can't see it. You're like, Boom. You, you got to make sure that you don't see it in hand, but then you can be like... You can see the reaction... Changes it, and you like, and then it goes away. That's exactly how it does. If you like this, if you like this trick, I only have a couple more of them. So if you want to see a couple more tricks, let me know. Grandma, come here. Anything in that bottle? Hey, give it a good shake. Ain't nothing in this bottle. Not nothing. Hmm? Ain't nothing in. You think I could take this quarter and push it through the bottom of that bottle? No. No? No, I don't. Here, hold the quarter. You want to see the quarter? Give me the bottle back. We'll put it to the bottom of the bottle. Right. Ready? It's a glass bottle. See, it's a glass bottle? Anything in the bottle? Okay. Right here. Right here. Watch it. Is it in there? Mm. Yay. Yeah. Over that. I turned off. Yeah. Pain and joy. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? I don't really do many tricks, but this is going to be one of them. We're actually going to show you and get the ingredients. This is more of a party trick than anything else. So, uh, it should be a good time. But this one requires basically upkeep and it requires spending money. But it's not very lot. It's not a lot of money. A lot of stuff you can get right around the house, or you might have anyway. So let's go ahead and go travel. I well, we ran into one problem. The problem is, first store I go to, they had the first ingredient for the thing, which is a bottle of Coke. But they didn't have any of the Sobe things. The best way to use it is you. Sobe's always been the one I'd go to. There's obviously others too. So. It's been so long since I did this trick that they, I guess they quit making glass Sobe bottles. So I got to improvise. The, the key is to have a glass bottle though. So I bought this Frappuccino. I don't know. It's three bucks. Hopefully it works. Check you guys in a bit. Oh man, this is hard to do. Like right here. Ah. 
All right, guys. So now we're getting into the nitty gritty, and uh, we have to basically start the layout of um, the actual bottle trick. There's a couple things you're gonna need. You're gonna need an empty Coke bottle, preferably 20 ounces. This is a 24 ounce because the store close to me only sells 24 and 16.9. You want the one with the bigger label. The label is the part that you want. You're gonna need a glass bottle. I have a Frappuccino bottle here. I prefer to use Sobe. Sobe is a lot better of a bottle. And this is what we basically got to do. I don't have anybody to hold the camera for me, so I'm going to try to do it one-handed. So give me give me some leeway. All right, you want to rip this in a manner. You're going to rip it fast, but you won't. You know how the, the sticky tape goes right there? You want it to stay on, so just like that. It's perfect. Exactly right there is exactly what you want. You want that to happen. I'm not, now we're going to cut this part out. Alright, I used a razor. I happen to have razors left over from my um, Nuka Cola Quantum video. You can see right here, I cut the, the thing out the bottle. And it's supposed to look just like that right there. This is your prop. Why is this a good prop? Alright, let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to hold the bottle so people can see into the bottle. But you want it to look like you want it to look like it's just another label. I've already ran into a problem with this bottle and um, it doesn't air seal. The goal of it is a Sobe bottle, a glass Sobe bottle does it. But the goal is to basically have the quarter on the top of the cap and you place the cap on the bottle itself, like so. I can't do it, it doesn't air seal, but you just pop it on there and you tighten it and you continue to tighten the bottle until the quarter is sucked to the top of the cap. That's why the glass part is so, so, you know, crucial. But the cap on this is way too large, it's way too large of a mouth. It needs a smaller mouth than this. Um, actually, hold up, I think I got a solution. Look at this right here, look at this. See how that works? You can't really, this is the glass part of it. You can't really see it. I guess you can see it if you look at the very bottom, but let's see if we can work this right. But see, it just looks like the silver cap. Nobody noticed that. Watch how it works. What you gotta do, the to top up. Um, Sobe bottles is what you actually need. These are, like I said, couldn't find a Sobe bottle that was glass. I found one that was plastic. Rattling. That's because the it's a little too big. But you want to kind of like squish your plastic. You want to get it close to the bottom of the bottle as possible. You want to squish your plastic. And when you're doing this or you're positioning your hands, you want to be like. Gonna be tapping all over the bottle because they're gonna look. They're gonna look at the tap. Then you come to the bottom of the bottle, and then you go to the back. Uh -uh. This bottle's being so bad. Tap it, and then you go right go to the bottom and be like. And then you pull it over on the side and shake it. And then you, oh shit! I think it, shake it. You're holding this on the side of the bottle there, and then you push it over. You just let the quarter fall into your hand, and you hand the bottle. You go switch it back to this hand, hand the bottle off. You've pretty much done the trick. It's not as elegant as the other one, but this one's a fun fucking trick to do because you can hand the bottle to them, and they'll be amazed. I've done this trick all through high school, and uh, I mean I'm rusty as shit at now, and I, like I said don't have the proper bottle but it works you should give it a try let me know thanks I put the quarter on the lid let's see if he can can you can you get it where'd the tape go there, there ain't no tape see just the bottle yeah but see I shook the bottle hey. see <laughs> how'd I do it bro I don't know you got something though you didn't push that quarter to that glass 
Look how you done it. <laughs> you had to quarter on the side sometimes at one point. Hmm? You had a different quarter on the side at one point. Put it back there. One quarter. What was it? 